Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we are gonna find the area of a rectangle. But before we do that, I wanna ask you a question here. Do you know how you teach a chicken mathematics? You give it lots of egg samples. Get it? Examples? Examples? Ah, all right, back to the show here. Okay, um, here is the formula we need to use to find what an area of a rectangle is. Now, you might see this written a couple of different ways. You might see um, A equals length times width. This stands for multiplication. Or you might see it length times width or just LW together like that. All right. These are different ways on how they write the formula for a rectangle and how to find the area of a rectangle. All right. Let's get started here. Well, we have a rectangle, and we need to find the square units in the area of this rectangle. Now, you might say, well, why do we need to do that? Well, maybe you are going to carpet a room, and you need to figure out how much carpet you need to order to you know, put on the floor of your room. So this is a good example. So let's go ahead and use our formula. So I'm going to put A right here, A equals length times width, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and find my length. My length is five. So I'm gonna put the equal sign here, so this will be five right here, times three. All right, five times three, five, 10, 15. Awesome, you guys are math ninjas. So this would be 15 squared units, okay? I'm gonna put units right here, and a square, squared units. Now let's check our answer here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That matches up with 15 squared units. All right, you ready to do another one? Yeah, let's do it. All right, whoa, hey, we got a rectangle now, but we don't have it all divided. So this is usually what you're gonna see in your math workbooks, but I know we can do it. We're gonna take it step by step, easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. All right, let's do it. Okay, remember our area, area equals length times width. So I'm gonna go ahead and put area equals, I'm gonna go ahead and just put in my length, seven, all right, centimeters, all right, centimeters right here, times four centimeters. All right, four centimeters. Now maybe you're not used to seeing that period there, that little dot. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the multiplication sign right there. So we have seven centimeters times four centimeters, okay? What is four times seven? Do you remember what that is? Yeah, 28. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 28 squared centimeters. Easy cheesy. Ready to do another one? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, welcome back. Whoa, there's a lot of information here I wasn't used to seeing before. Well, the length is eight feet. Well, same, same right here on the bottom and the top. They're both the same. And right here, our width is two feet here and same over on this side. This line segment is the same over here as it is here. So first of all, just take it step by step, write down our formula. So that would be area equals length times width. Don't get too scared about this. Just do what you're used to, usually doing. Length, what is it? Eight feet, all right? Now, if you want to, you can put eight feet or you can just put eight, and then we can always put the feet later on in our answer. Whatever you want to do, whatever makes it easier. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and put eight right here, times two feet, all right? That is our width. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two right here, all right? What is eight times two? 16. Now this is where I'm gonna put in my units of measure, 16 squared feet. Now, some of you are like, well, what about all these other numbers? Should I add them up? Should I multiply them? No. All right, later on when we talk about perimeter, that's when we're gonna you know, take a look at the numbers all around here. But basically, you don't need to know 
this one here. You don't need to know that right there. Just the length times the width. That's good enough, all right? That gives you 16 squared feet. So if I had to put carpet down in a room like that, I need to buy 16 squared feet of carpet. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. Make sure you check out my other videos on here and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And like always, have a fun day. Adios.